Hi there, and thank you for watching this December edition of the Animal Services Podcast. Now, this show is designed to give you an inside look at all the activities and initiatives taking place here at El Paso Animal Services. But before we get to all that, let's take a look at our live release rate for the month of November. Last month, Animal Services had a live release rate of 80%. This is an increase from the previous month when the live release rate was at 78%. Now, this is the first time Animal Services has hit a monthly live release rate of 80% or higher, and our staff and partners are excited to see the progress. Again, our goal here at Animal Services is to have an average live release rate of 90% or higher by the end of our fiscal year 2020. Now we can't reach this goal by ourselves, which is why we always encourage the community to get involved and help us out. Animal Services has various programs that can always use more assistance. If you want to help out our pets being housed at the shelter, our volunteer program allows you to be hands-on with many of our pets. From walking animals to enrichment, our volunteer program is successful thanks to all of our dedicated participants. Another key program is our foster program, where participants are provided with all the resources needed to temporarily care for our younger and special needs animals. Animals typically will go home with our fosters for a period of three to four weeks. At that point, most animals will be placed for adoption where they will find their forever home. To learn more about these programs, feel free to reach out to our staff via email or visit us in person at 5001 Fred Wilson Avenue. The holiday season is a time for family and festivities and Animal Services wants to make sure families stay together. Our very own Michelle Anderson tells us how Animal Services is making sure pets will be home for the holidays. The Home for the Holidays Pet Reclaim Initiative will waive reclaim fees from now until January 6th in an effort to reconnect lost pets with their families before the holidays. Pet owners like Kimberly Rodriguez, who recently picked up her lost pet Thomas, says a high reclaim fee this time of year would have not been convenient. You know, the holidays and it would have definitely not fit in my budget. Families looking for their lost pets are encouraged to bring their pet's veterinarian records and photos of their pet with them as these records will help shelter staff confirm ownership and provide background information on the animal's vaccination record. Waived reclaim fees do not include other fees such as pet registration, so keep in mind if your pet is not registered and you come to reclaim it, you will have to pay a registration fee of $12.50. Uh, definitely call, look on the website, see if your pet is on there. Um, everyone here is very helpful. and. Just come get your dog. <laughs> now, if you've lost your pet recently, be sure to come visit us at the shelter. We're located at 5001 Fred Wilson. We're open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., seven days a week. From El Paso Animal Services, I'm Michelle Anderson. PetSmart Charities was also in our region recently, and they even took a visit of the Animal Services Shelter. The charity said the purpose of their visit to El Paso was to learn more about the region and see how they can potentially assist with ongoing efforts and initiatives. The charity not only met with animal services, but they also held a town hall. Now the goal was to learn more about the groups, but also to explain the goals and focus of the charity. We are also excited to announce that in just a few short days, the 2018 Firefighters and Furry Friends calendar will go on sale right before the Christmas holiday. This special calendar is a joint project between the El Paso Fire Department, Animal Services, and the nonprofit Snaps for Shelters. Now the goal of the calendar is to bring attention to the thousands of adoptable pets that enter Animal Services each year. To find out when the calendars are officially on sale, just follow us on Facebook. Once the calendars are in, we will post notifications alerting the community that they can now come to the shelter and pick one up. The calendars will be $10, and remember, each calendar will include an adoption voucher for a free pet adoption. Well, if you've been up and down I-10 recently, you've probably noticed a few electronic billboards looking a lot cuddlier. That's because for the first time ever, Animal Services is now using high traffic billboards to educate and inform the community on our events, specials, and life-saving initiatives. The billboards is just one way Animal Services is reaching out to the community with the goal of engaging residents. The electronic billboards will be used throughout the year and will promote various topics including adoption, foster, volunteer, vaccination, spay-neuter, among other topics. As you could tell by the sweater, the winter weather has finally rolled into El Paso, and that means our four-legged family members need your help so they can stay safe and comfortable. 
Animal Services encourages all pet owners to bring their animals inside, especially at night when temperatures tend to drop. In addition, we recommend putting sweaters on your pets to provide some extra comfort. Just be sure they are not too tight. To find these tips and more, visit our Facebook page. Just search for El Paso Animal Services. And speaking of the cold, just a reminder, our animal care officers do work round the clock and spend the overnight hours looking for animals without adequate shelter from the cold. Now, if you have a concern of an animal that may need help, feel free to call 311 and our officers will investigate. Well, that does it for us. We want to remind you that you can always learn more about us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Instagram and Twitter. As always, we want to thank you for being a friend and a partner to El Paso Animal Services.